You know, oftentimes on this channel, when we discuss the topic of youth offenders, I talk about this wrong-headed reform movement that essentially seeks to treat any person who commits almost any crime who is a day under the age of 18 like a baby and how this has really negative downstream consequences because your peak criminal years don't start immediately after age 18. They're actually at ages between 14 and 24. And what we've seen as these policies have been instituted writ large across this country is a dramatic increase in youth homicides, specifically almost all of that increase among young black male teenagers in the United States of America. Well, today we're going to talk about an instance where we have Kimberly Fox, the woke left-wing George Soros-backed Sean King-supported district attorney of Cook County, which covers Chicago, refusing to prosecute teenagers that killed a six-month-old infant while taking a joyride in a car. Now, technically, these teenagers, and by the way, they've only caught two of the four perpetrators, ages 17 and age 14, have been arrested, they have been charged, but when you see the heinousness of the crime that they committed versus what they're actually facing in terms of charges, you realize that our system is completely out of control and it's only going to get worse in the city of Chicago because not only did they have the horrible mayor Lori Lightfoot and the Cook County prosecutor Kimberly Fox, but now they're replacing Lightfoot with somebody significantly worse, Brandon Johnson, who we've covered extensively already on this channel. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to everybody who signed up over on actualjusticewarrior.com slash join. Oh, give me the money. Give you give me the money. OK, I really appreciate you. Well, baby boy is dead after a multi vehicle crash in West Garfield Park Sunday. Six month old Christian Uvidia passed away yesterday at Stroger Hospital. Police say one of the vehicles involved in the crash was stolen. So, big ups to Marie Oaks for actually sending me over this story. I really appreciate the tip. I want you guys to go follow her on Twitter and subscribe to her YouTube channel because it's important to support people that support the channel. But as you heard it correctly, there was a car crash involving a family. In that car was a six month old baby who ended up passing away. And by the way, there were also serious injuries for other members of the family who not only have a long recovery ahead for themselves but also lost a six-month-old child in this accident and when you see the video of the accident you'll realize that this was not a case where somebody just happened to steal a car and then got into a car accident what you'll find out is that this is an instance of people who stole a car didn't give a damn about anybody but themselves and having a good time for themselves. And of course, they were speeding down the road when they ultimately hit this family, killing, again, a six-month-old. Hi, Dina and Ray. This family is just beyond devastated today. Their beloved six-month-old baby boy died yesterday after the family's vehicle was T-boned by a stolen vehicle on Sunday. I want to show you pictures of six-month-old Christian. He was in the pickup truck with his mom and two older sisters when they were hit by that stolen car Sunday evening around 5. So I just want to point out this happened Sunday evening around 5, one of the busier times for traffic throughout the course of the week. And yes, this is true on the weekend even though you don't have the rush hour traffic component of this. So keep that in mind. And by the way, for those of you who are curious about the family's GoFundMe, that will be linked in the description of this video as well if you want to support them. But really, hold that in your brain that this is how they were driving at 5 p.m. on a Sunday after stealing a vehicle. Christian's sisters and his mom are all still in the hospital, but they are expected to be okay. The family has started a GoFundMe to help raise money for those unexpected medical bills and now the funeral arrangements for the little boy they describe as the light of all of their lives. Also, I do want to note that they have, according to this new segment, about $3,600, which in comparison to the Ralph Yarrow case is around $3 million. And of course, there are serious charges pressed against the person who is behind that shooting, which is a far more ambiguous case. And there are not going to be serious charges in this case. And again, you're going to be shocked at how low the charges are. There's nothing that's going to bring us peace and joy. Um, we can we can have all these people arrested. We can um, try, and, and it helps a little bit, but nothing to us will bring us justice because at the end of the day, um, you know, the thing that was taken, they, they stole a car and they stole our entire lives in that one instance. 
You know, it really breaks my heart hearing this interview, and I understand this is the mom's cousin, and she's actually relatively composed in what she said, but just those words about how, well, we can have all these people arrested, and we could prosecute them, and presumably that has the implication to the fullest extent of the law, but that won't bring our six-month-old, the light of our world, back to us. That won't replace what was lost, what was stolen from us. And the thing is, what she doesn't realize, I'm assuming at the time that she gave this interview, is that the Cook County District Attorney's Office has no intention at all of pursuing any serious charges in relation to this vicious killing. They're just going to let this go because according to them, the real innocent babies are not the innocent baby that was killed in this car crash, but the kids who stole the car because, you know, one of them's 17 and 17 and a six month old, we can't delineate the difference between the two. So we're going to charge them with misdemeanors. And again, I just want you to prepare yourself because we're going to go to the video and it's going to cut before the actual impact, but you're going to be able to assume based on the speeds involved that this was obviously a devastating impact. A neighbor's camera captured this crash at the intersection of West Washington and North Costner in West Garfield Park. We've stopped the video at the moment before impact because the crash is so violent. The owner of the camera tried to save the boy. He rushed out and performed CPR until paramedics could arrive. Just look at the speed that they were going. And thankfully, the local news stopped it before we saw the video, the horrific crash that ensued. But you can only imagine, based on the speed of the stolen car, how bad this was. And based on the fact that everybody in the truck was ultimately injured and of course the six month old ended up dying from the result of the accident obviously you're dealing with people who not only don't care about our law or society who stole a vehicle but they also don't care about others or themselves because they're just blitzing down the street they ran a red light and it ultimately ended up resulting in the death of a six month old and the serious injury of the rest of the family on top of that, they, of course, fled the scene of the crime. They didn't even stick around because who cares? The people who were hurt were not them, so no big deal. So they have this horrific crash, which, by the way, is nearby a park, so there could have been kids at play. More children could have got injured in this case, but it was no big deal, nothing to worry about. Who cares? It wasn't them, so let's just move on with our day. They didn't even get an opportunity to have a life. And just because someone made a decision to steal a car, to speed through the light, and it caused a traumatic accident, I think that's unfair. Now, the witness on the street is 100% right. The neighbor, by the way, who ended up having the security camera, which under normal circumstances would be used to convict these carjackers and criminals, killers, for their crime. But, of course, they're not even going to go in that direction because they're not going to prosecute them to any serious extent comes out and tries to save the baby's life, ultimately ends up failing, Christian ends up passing away, and then they are arrested, or at least two of the four are arrested because they still have yet to identify the other two individuals that were in the vehicle. But this is where it gets even more devastating. This is where it gets to be an even bigger gut punch because it's one thing for these people to commit this crime. I wouldn't cover a story on this channel that was just a random, generic, horrific crime because those happen every day, but those don't typically have broader political implications. Obviously, there has to be a hook for me to deliver this story to you, and the hook is they were charged with trespassing. He says there were four people in that stolen car. Right now, police tell us they have two people in custody, a 17-year-old and a 14-year-old, both charged with misdemeanor criminal trespass to vehicle. Uh, the Major Accidents Investigation Unit is continuing its investigation here to figure out who else may be to blame. Yeah, that's right. The only charges that these criminals are going to face for Grand Theft Auto, which last time I checked was a felony, is criminal trespassing. They were unauthorized to be in the vehicle that they stole from somebody else that that's just a trespassing and the reason they're doing that the sole reason that they're charging them with a misdemeanor criminal trespass is due to the fact that if they actually charge the felony of grand theft auto reckless driving or any of the other felonies that they could have charged with then obviously that would lead people to wonder why they're not charging with 
felony murder because what felony murder is is when somebody dies during the commission of a felony you can attach a murder charge because what you're doing is substituting the requisite intent for the previous felony for the killing and the reason you do that is because even though they didn't intend to kill somebody they did in fact intend to steal a car they did in fact intend to drive like maniacs they did in fact not care about the life of anybody that they could have hurt so that intent should be applied and they should be charged with the felony murder statute but kimberly fox doesn't even want to examine that option kimberly fox's district attorney's office says here's what you don't understand that six-month-old baby that had its life ripped away from it christian the family that's absolutely devastated that can only manage to raise three thousand dollars on gofundme to pay for their medical bills and the funeral expenses of this child they're not the actual victims the real victims are the people who stole the car they got a 17 year old they got a 14 year old they're trying to flip them by sentencing them to maybe 30 days probation on a trespass and honestly that level of pressure for them to plead guilty to trespassing is punishment enough according to kimberly fox in fact any accountability for any criminal under the age of 18 is just the systemic system systemic structures and the school to prison pipeline and insert other ridiculous buzzword because we can never actually hold people accountable even when they take the lives of the actual most innocent in our society it's absolutely horrible it's embarrassing it's ridiculous and it's just allowed to go on over and over and over again and there's so many different policies that led to this the fact that the police are not allowed to do chases who knows if we're gonna find out later that they thought about you know actually engaging in a stop of this vehicle they asked for permission from the supervisor and that permission wasn't granted the fact that youthful offenders are cut break after break after break and i'm going to tell you right now we're gonna find that these guys had criminal records and those were just ignored or the fact that this story right here Christian's story the story of his death and the lax prosecution for Cook County against his killers is being told on WGN's local affiliate for a grand total of 3.9 thousand views that's just not enough to move the needle but the fact is cases like this never get any national attention actual failures of the system never get pointed out they never get highlighted because we're all distracted by the same left wing who instituted these policies trying to find new justifications new claims of racism in order to roll back law enforcement even more these guys need to be charged with felony murder felony murder do i need to say it again they committed a felony they didn't give a damn about anybody around them a six month old is dead other people are seriously injured and they got charged with trespassing kimberly fox is charging them with trespassing now i know she might be busy trying to work out more sweetheart deals for jesse smollett but last time i checked you commit a felony somebody dies as a result of that felony the charge is felony murder we've heard on the news that they have been charged with misdemeanors and um it's just really disheartening a deadly trend with innocent victims carjackings are turning into car crashes one of the most recent incidents left a six-month-old baby dead i think a lot of it too they've kind of blocked out just from the trauma the six-month-old fought to stay alive for three days he suffered from uh, a fractured skull which um, caused his brain to swell and bleed eventually, um, causing him to go into a coma and then later passing away. The offending vehicle crashed into a light pole, police later arresting a 14 and 17 year old, both charged with misdemeanors, criminal trespass to a vehicle. The family now in deep pain, working to make funeral arrangements for a kid whose smile and infectious laugh will forever be missed. Your however minutes long joyride ruined our life completely chicago is done the businesses have it right it's not just walmart it's mcdonald's thinking about leaving all these other companies trying to take off and honestly that's just the correct move pack it up get out of town build a wall around it just take those materials that are never going to be used to complete the wall at the border and do that for chicago and let's just Let's call it a mistake. Just let it go and, and move on with the rest of our lives. Let's build a third city and call that the new, new Chicago, because honestly, it's it's totally lost right now. And I think we have to do Cook County as a whole because that's what Kimberly Fox actually covers. But yeah, I'm, I'm willing to do that. I'll sign on the line. Everybody who wants to get out and live peaceful, honorable lives in a sensible criminal justice system is welcome to flee. But honestly, you know what? 
it's over. Six-month-old baby gets killed. The killers get charged with trespassing. Absolutely insane. I mean, they didn't even get charged with Grand Theft Auto. They didn't even get charged, it doesn't look like, with reckless driving. They ran a red light. They were obviously speeding, but no, not even a speeding ticket. You're not even going to suspend their license because that would be too cruel. I don't know if you know this, but how are they going to get their jobs and be contributing members to society if we actually enforce a license suspension against them? They probably will pass a law that will make it illegal for the insurance companies to charge them a premium because honestly, that was just a youthful mistake and we got to give them a second chance and we got to pretend like the reason why these kids were in this position is because of the systemic structures and not enough midnight basketball but hey those are just my thoughts so let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you like this video show them by leaving a like subscribe for more content follow me on all my social media support me via the support links in the description of this video this has been me talking about an insane case insane in the way that it was charged till next time